40 things you will never unsee in Minecraft. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, here we go. Number one, the campfire is a rather useful block in Minecraft, whether it's to cook some food or act as a light source. But most importantly, it's used to chill with your friends by the fire. But what if I told you that after this, you'll never be able to look at the campfire the same way. So to start with, have a close look at this cat's face. Trust me, you'll see why. Then put out the campfire with a shovel and take a closer look at the burnt out campfire. That's right, this campfire closely resembles the face of a cat and I can no longer unsee it. Did you have anything to do with this? Or was it you? Come on, we're all friends here. Anyways, let's move on. Number two. The Wither Boss is a player created mob that shoots flying, exploding skulls at you. Now the next time you build a Wither, I want you to take a good look at its face and here is why. This is bedrock. You know that block that's impossible to break and is found everywhere at the bottom of your world? Yeah, that block. Anyways, when multiple bedrock blocks are lined up correctly, you'll notice a wither skull is seen within the texture and it's now something I cannot unsee. So the next time you're trying to break some bedrock, just remember the wither is always staring at you. Number three. Villagers in Minecraft have lots of different professions, but the one villager you won't be able to unsee is the fisherman. So as you can see, the fisherman villager has a somewhat familiar a fish on its texture. Now to some, this fish is just a fish, but if you're a veteran player, you'll know the fisherman villager is using the long since removed raw fish texture. So now whenever you look at this fisherman, just know it's using a fish texture that was made over 11 years ago. Number four, the lever is something I use to open my hidden base full of diamonds so my annoying friends don't touch them. Yeah, that's it, Aaron, go away. Anyways, if you look closer at the lever texture, you might notice something that you cannot not unsee. So if you put a torch and a lever side by side in an item frame, you'll notice that they're using the exact same texture, but just with different colours. Not only that, but the lever also seems to resemble a burnt out torch, which was a planned feature that never happened. Number five, tools in Minecraft are very important, whether it's chopping down trees with an axe or mining those diamonds with a pickaxe. Now, even though I'm using my pickaxe 90% of the time, I recently noticed that all pickaxes have this weird white outline line around them and I can no longer unsee it. Mojang, please fix. Number six, the lectern is a block that villagers use to become librarians. Now while the lectern looks completely fine when placed, in the player's inventory it's a whole other story. So if you look closely at the lectern within the inventory, you'll notice that its icon is one pixel too big for the inventory slot. I hate this man, I want to unsee it. Number seven, minecart rails are a great way to provide some transport for players or to to shield you from some zombies. Don't ask why they do this. Anyways, another cool thing about rails is that if you place them in their corner form, you'll notice that the corner rail itself resembles a stone pickaxe. Was this done on purpose? I'm not sure. Number eight. In Minecraft, we mine a lot of stone, whether it's to strip mine for diamonds or to craft a pointless amount of furnaces. But another thing you should do is place some stone next to bedrock and here is why. So looking at the blocks side by side, you can see that the textures are the same. The only difference is that the bedrock has a lot more contrast. I mean, hey, with all the blocks in Minecraft, you can't blame them for reusing textures. Number nine. The bookshelf is a decorative block, but most of us use it to provide higher levels for the enchanting table. However, if you look at the bookshelf texture itself, you'll notice that it looks a bit sus. Now to me and many other players, the books within the bookshelves just look like mini Among Us characters blending in with the books. With that in mind, be careful when placing books bookshelves as an Among Us character might just sneak up behind you. Number 10. The Sea Lantern is an underwater light source block that can be found in ocean monuments and underwater ruins. Now to many, it probably just looks like your average light source block, but it's actually a bit cooler than that. So if you look closely at the Sea Lantern, you'll notice that the block is animated, giving off this weird swirling effect. I could stare at this all day, man. Number 11. If you've been to the Nether, you've more than likely encountered a Ghast. Now, if you manage to kill a ghast, you'll get its ghast tears. But if you look at the ghast itself, you'll notice that its texture is displaying actual tears from its eyes. Am I the only one who never knew this? I can't unsee it now. Number 12. Bricks in Minecraft are annoying. At first, when you place down a brick, you're like, cool, it's a brick. But when you look closer at its texture, you'll notice that something is off. So when you look at the edges of the brick block, you can clearly see that the textures don't align and connect 
properly. I wish I could unsee this man, it's horrible! Number 13, Glazed Terracotta. It's probably one of the most unique and detailed blocks in Minecraft and it comes in 16 different variants. With that said, the white glazed terracotta has a unique pattern that I cannot unsee. So if you place this terracotta in a certain way, the bottom part of the block looks like the top half of a penguin head. Oh my god, literally all I see now is a bunch of penguins. Number 14, cats in Minecraft make very good pets. I mean, come on, they scare away creepers and vibe on the end of the bed when you sleep. But have you ever taken the time to look closely into your cat's eyes? If you haven't, don't bother, because if you look long enough, the cat's eyes will begin to look like it's only got one big eye in the middle. In other words, your cat is now a cyclops. Number 15, armor in Minecraft is important. Now, if you're not at the stage of having diamond armor, iron will have to do. Now, the next time you go to craft those iron boots, imagine how they would look if they were flipped upside down. Now, I don't know about you, but iron boots when they're upside down kind of look like Apple AirPods. From now on, my iron boots are going to be upside down in an item frame just so I can pretend I have AirPods in Minecraft. Number 16. If you have been playing Minecraft for a while, you'll probably be familiar with the old texture for bedrock. Now, many probably think the old texture for bedrock is no longer in the game since, you know, it's old, but it's actually still present on one block and I can no longer unsee it. So the end crystals you find in the end actually have a base supporting the crystal that's made of bedrock. However, for some reason, the end crystal base is using the old bedrock texture instead of the current texture we have today. Mojang, please fix. Number 17. Signs in Minecraft are very useful, whether it's to tell your friend to go away or act as a cool design for a chair. With that said, signs are also really annoying and here is why. So when you place a sign on a block, there's actually a gap between the sign and the block itself, which is bothering me a lot. I wish I never knew about this man, let's move on. Number 18. Lily pads are found in swamp biomes and they're really fun to parkour across. Now if you take some time to look at lily pads from a side view, you might think they look like Pac-Man from the 1980s arcade game. So yeah, whenever I look at lily pads now, I'm always going to think of Pac-Man. Number 19. Piglins are mobs that spawn in the nether and they will hate you if you're not wearing gold armor. Now at first glance, the piglin looks like your average pig mob, but if you look at them for a bit longer, they kind of look like an anime girl with a pig hat. Look, Filza said it, I've said it, we all think it. I can't unsee it, man, just look at it. Number 20. The hotbar is an important part of Minecraft. I mean, how else are you going to stare at your netherite tools and stack of diamonds? However, when you have an empty hotbar, be sure to take a look at your hotbar texture slots. To many, it probably looks like nothing, but if you look closer, you'll see the hotbar slots are using the old texture for sand. I love sand, especially when it's suffocating my friends. Should I cut that out? Nah, I'm leaving it in. Number 21. If you're holding diamonds, people know you're good at Minecraft. If you're holding turtle eggs, people are gonna think you're a monster. Where am I going with this? Well, if you hold diamonds and turtle eggs together, you'll notice that they both use the exact same shape for their texture, which is now something I definitely cannot unsee. Number 22. Llamas. You either love them or hate them. Regardless, they're here to stay. Anyway, something I cannot unsee is the llama's nose. So at first it looks like a nose, but when you look at it for longer, it kind of looks like a face. Do you guys see it or am I just weird? Number 23. Books in Minecraft are annoying and I'll explain why. So if you place down a lectern, put a book on it and open it, you'll see that everything looks normal. I'm joking guys, it looks awful because if you take a look at the threading on the book, you'll see that it's been moved one pixel to the left about halfway down the page. Right, I'm moving on. I'm not mad, I promise. Number 24. Ladders are great for climbing high places in Minecraft, but it's also funny to shoot your friend off a ladder. Anyways, ladders placed on blocks are annoying because just like the signs, they have a gap between the block itself, which makes no sense. How is this even possible? Number 25. Chickens. We've all killed one in Minecraft. Yes, I'm looking at you. But instead of killing a chicken, I want you to look into their eyes. Aren't they just cute? Anyways, if you look at the chicken's eyes for long enough, you'll realize that the black part of their eye is just their pupil and not the whole eye itself. Okay, this is definitely something I cannot unsee. I'm killing you, chicken. Goodbye. Number 26. Smokers need fixing. Okay, there's nothing wrong with how they function, but the texture, on the other hand, needs sorting out. 
So if you look underneath the smoker, you'll notice that one of the corners of its texture is different, whereas the other three corners look the same. You know what, smoker? I'm throwing you in the lava. Number 27. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the alpha and beta days of the game, diamonds were annoying, and here is why. So as you can see, diamonds in the inventory slots were painfully uncentered. I mean, just look at this man. I'm glad this is no longer a thing. Number 28. Let's talk about campfires again. Now, now, is it just me, or does the campfire sprite look like a lovely slice of pizza? I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry. Number 29. So as I've mentioned, there are lots of different villager professions, but another one that stands out is the librarian. So when you look at the librarian villager, you at first think they're just wearing any old hat, but if you look a bit closer, you'll realise that it's wearing a book on its head. Very clever, Mojang, very clever. Number 30. Another villager that kind of stands out is the cleric. So if you pay a attention to the cleric's rope, you'll notice that it's got a creeper face on it. Maybe it's trying to warn me. Oh dear. Number 31. Pigs have eyebrows. Number 32. Cut sandstone is a nice little block that looks like this. Now there's nothing out of the ordinary with cut sandstone, but if you switch to the programmer art resource pack, the block looks a bit weird. Now if you look at it closely, you'll notice there's what looks to be a number 2 engraved on the sandstone. I can't unsee this. Oh wait, I can. There we go. Number 33. I don't know if it's just me and a few other people, but does the black candle when placed in an item frame look like a mouse, you know, a PC mouse? That might be a bit of a stretch, but I can kinda see it. Number 34. If you ever find a Bastion Remnant in the nether, be sure to get your hands on some chiseled blackstone. At first glance, the chiseled blackstone probably doesn't look like much, but if you look at it closer, you'll realise it's got a piglin snout on it. I guess it's to remind you that you stole a block from the piglins. Number 35. Right, I've heard a few people say this, and I just want to know what you guys think. So do you guys think the sugarcane item sprite looks like a zombie hand? Because when you put it in an item frame, it kind of does, to be honest. Well, that's just great. I can't unsee this now. Sugarcane is always gonna look creepy to me. Number 36. I don't know if it's just me, but I always thought this part of the crafting table looked like a creeper face. I mean, it would make sense, right? Well, apparently no, because after all these years, I found out that they're actually pliers and not a creeper face. Pliers aren't even in Minecraft, man. What is this? Number 37. Okay, is it just me, or does the armor of villagers helmet have a face on it? Because I really cannot unsee this, man. It's so derpy. Number 38. Okay, let's just speed run the last three. So the nether brick has the face of a wither on it, as you can see. Number 39. Red chiseled sandstone has a wither boss on it. Number 40. And finally, regular chiseled sandstone has a creeper face on it. How many times did you see my friend Aaron in the video? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, bye!